Welcome to a special video edition of Disney In Depth honoring Disneyland Resort's 60th anniversary. I'm going to share with you six of my favorite Disneyland Resort related possessions. Most appropriately, we start from the very beginning, my first trip to Disneyland at four years old. Now, what do you see every little kid have in his or her, her hand? None other than an autograph book, and this was from the mid-90s. So you see we have one from Chip to Mickey Mouse, of course. Considering the time period, we have one from Miko uh, and even Minnie Mouse as well, right over here. It's a great memory. It's something that every child should have on his or her first trip to the park and most likely subsequent ones as well. Moving on to special possession number two. This comes from 2001, which signaled the dawn of a new era in the history of Disneyland, now becoming the Disneyland Resort, with the opening of Disney California Adventure. This is one of the commemorative passports that you could only get around the time of its opening, so it's really cool to have that on me. And it's also neat to see one of the earliest park maps, uh, because, as many of you may know, uh, it really resembles a different state today. Uh, we now have Cars Land, Bugs Land, many new attractions. A lot of things are no longer there. So to see what it looks like today versus then really shows its evolution. Exploring Disneyland via one of its many guided tours is perhaps the best way of appreciating the park. My personal favorite is Walking Walt's Footsteps, which continues to enchant guests to this day. One of the special perks of going on that tour uh, is receiving a pin and this one uh, which comes from right around 2002 is really special to me because I went on the tour several times and one of my favorite moments was obtaining that special pin that really recognizes you walked in Walt's footsteps. Disneyland's 50th anniversary was a milestone in the park's history and also a very pivotal time to obtain some really cool items in the park. My favorite from that era was and is a musical history of Disneyland. This limited edition box set contains lots of treasures for the true Disneyland fan. Among them include the Sounds of Disneyland, which is a beautiful book with lots of artwork and commentary on all areas and aspects of the park, as well as a vinyl record of Walt Disney giving you a tour of Disneyland during its earliest days. And most importantly for the audio file is this audio library of Disneyland, which is a six CD set containing tracks from the park's earliest days to uh, more early 2000s. It's really wonderful to hear that music. And I always have it on my iTunes playlist for good listening. Coming up at number five in my list is one of the best books on Disneyland. It is called Disneyland, Then, Now, and Forever, written by Bruce Gordon and Tim O'Day. Uh, this was released around the park's 50th anniversary as well and contains some really cool uh, pictures of the park's past, a lot of commentary, details on facts and finds, uh, and going all the way to the present day. You can still find some of these items on eBay, uh, but it is a rare find nowadays. Last but certainly not least on my list of favorite possessions is a, an art print that I got from Disneyland via its art on demand system. Uh, this piece comes from Eric Hess Chong, a really talented artist who is responsible for a major aspect of the creative vision of New Tomorrowland during the mid late 90s. You can see this is of the Autopia. Uh, sponsored by Chevron at the time, and it really speaks to the idealism and cool factor of what New Tomorrowland promised. Well, that about wraps everything up, so I hope you enjoyed this trip through memory lane with me. Hope you remembered some fond memories and possessions from Disneyland that you may own, and happy anniversary, Disneyland.